blow all havoc here. All right, so, yep, this is the game I picked. Stationers. I played, uh, like, two of the tutorial maps, and I've seen, like, three videos online. So, um, that's pretty much it. I have not actually started a game yet. I did edit my character a little bit, change appearance kind of thing. Uh, went through the settings, and uh, like I said, I did two tutorial maps. That's it. It's going to be pretty much a... Uh, a... Uh, <laughs> um, a raw experience. I, I don't know. Custom world? What's that do? Is that the extent of the entire world? Or is that just your starting area? Probably just your starting area. Let's go to Mars. I can't see anything. All right, back. Never mind. We're just gonna go to Mars. All right, so here's what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna literally just give it a go. Um, just uh, yeah. I I have some expectations for the game. I'm looking forward to some new building and experiences between Imperium Galactic Survival and Space Engineers. It's time for some uh, some new experiences. I like the building. Okay, so uh, organic supplies, construction supplies, um, uh, portable appliance kits, and consumables. That'll be food and whatnot. Toothpaste, I guess. No. <laughs> All right, so... We want iron frames, right? And we're going to place that in there. I don't plan on hurting myself anytime soon. And then we're going to want some... i right, start with this. Now let's go ahead and build... There's a lot of silicon over there. I think that's silicon. Hey, game, I don't have to hold shift down to run. That's kind of nice. Guess if I don't have my drill out, I can't tell what it is. Might be ice. Looks like gold over there. Alright. I'm looking forward to the rover building and uh, pretty much all the experiences that this game seems to show. Alright, so we're going to go here. Don't need our helmet controls. Let's build here. Let's build a sizable structure. No guarantees that this is going to be close to. <laughs> uh. Now, there's going to be points where I'm definitely going to be asking for your guys' help. Uh, I, You know, they're, I've seen a few people play already. Um, a couple of videos. I think I've seen, like, four videos. And during our live stream when we were talking about this game specifically, got some pointers from a few of the peoples saying, you know, don't let your auto lathe get destroyed and... So, yeah. All right, so we want to go to this out here. Should have grabbed those steel plates while we're at it. E swap, swap, Q. There it goes. All right, so we can get a battery in there and get charging when we need it. Uh, the is our suit, right? Better's at 94%. Oh yeah, another thing um, I watched someone's tutorial said, you can lower your atmospheric pressure down and your temperature to lower your power demand. There we go. All right, so that's good. So we can go and close our suit. We won't need that for a minute. And then, all right. 
So, all right, we can put a battery in there when we need it to get it charged up as long as it's daytime. And we need to get some metal plates. Okay. Then we're going to go get torch. I'm still learning the controls. Controls are a little bit different than what I'm used to. I'm going for atmospheric pretty much right off the bat. This will be interesting because this will be one of the strongest survival games I've played. Because Space Engineers doesn't have food. All has is O2 and energy. Imperium has food, but it's kind of a relaxed requirement. Swap those for a second. Not used to that. Like placing a block, you have a timer to place it. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Whoa, low gravity. Okay, so then... I want to try something. I don't know. Can we just do this with it in our inventory? Yeah, they have to be in your left hand. Okay, I thought so. so you and you. Okay. I'm going to start small, and then we'll just ramp up production from here. Okay. Let's go get our solar panel down. All right. Um, five open? No, don't need five open. Four is open. Okay. Let's go ahead and add this back to here. Put that back in here. Let's get our solar panel and some cables. Arc furnace, iron wall kit, glass sheets. I think we're gonna need that for the solar panel, right? Basic solar panel kit. Okay, we got our cables in our inventory. And then we need sensor. Where is it? Trying to find the thing. Power controller, that's it. Well, we're not going to make it tonight. Is this adjustable at all? It does not look like it. Yeah, it's 45 only. Okay. So then we hold C to rotate. Just gonna place that right here. We need some glass sheets. We we'll have to go back for those. And then let's get this guy power in this way. Still getting used to these controls. It's a little different. Okay, open cover. Let's put that back in there. No, it's not what I wanted. Let's get that. Oh, we didn't get the glass sheets, have it. Come on. Glass sheets, please. Right there. What else did we need? Oh, that was it. Just the glass sheets. Okay, so then we need to get... Um, do we have any room in there? No. No. We have no room. Okay. I'm going to take and put... This battery in here. Power yep, that battery there. And then this is going to go here. Okay. 
then we flip that on. You should be charging. Maybe. No? Um. Okay. <laughs> Not producing enough. Oh, efficiency zero. Okay. Well, I guess we will have to wait till tomorrow. All right. So next up is going to be, um, my understanding is next up is we're going to want to do some iron walls to do, um, start pressurizing things. So let's go ahead and put this here. Oh, I was supposed to turn my light off during the day too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was real. Iron window. I uh, couldn't find our structure. So I'm gonna go like, I don't know, I guess. Let's see here. I don't know how big I wanna make it. I guess we're gonna make it that big. And we'll put the door right there. Can we get, uh, the roof on, please. There we go. And there. Okay. And there. Oh, missed one. And then we're going to put one here and here. Oh, stop opening your helmet, Havoc. <laughs> so I put a door here and here, and that should be sufficient. All right, so to replace, what do we need to build? Iron sheets required to continue construction. Okay, so... I'm gonna go here, swap out those for those. Okay, we need iron sheets to put windows together. All right, who knew? And, oh. is that one already done? Oh, okay. So we need, still need glass sheets to finish. Okay. And there we go. Ah, I see a pattern here. Cool. This makes it easier. <clears throat> All right. that one. Iron sheets to continue. I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. What if we go outside? Oh, we're not iron sheets. <clears throat> um, wait, what did it? Oh, okay. That's not what I intended to do. <clears throat> um, so the next thing we need to get is our what blast furnace set up so we can get things raw ores. Console. I think it's in the other one. Yeah, 
Okay. I think it's over here. Arc, arc furnace. Okay. Blast furnace. Arc furnace. All right, so let's take this guy. We're going to set it down about here. So power going in is there, and that's data on that side. So let's just go ahead and set this guy right. I still want to use space engineer keys to rotate. Do I put it here? Do I just put it over here? Let's put it here. We'll just run cables everywhere. Got to learn how to manipulate everything, right? So, all right. And then we're going to go ahead and get this here. Uh, do we want mouse wheel? Yeah. And then we want that, rotate. Straight, please, thank you. And then I think I'm gonna split right here. Ah, it's gonna take some getting used to, that's for sure. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, so that in theory is gonna get power from there. We just need to go find some iron, but uh, I don't wanna get lost. Okay, um, so one of the videos I watched said that there's a beacon in here with a battery in it too. That'll help us not get so lost. No. No. Small battery cell, small battery cell. Portable generator, <clears throat> portable scrubber, canister of water, a winch. And where is that beacon at? Oh, well, see. <clears throat> Just because, uh, Happen in somebody else's playthrough doesn't mean it's going to happen in mine. Oh, there it is, right there. Tracking beacon. Okay. So you come down here. Um, that's here. So our structure is that way. It is super dark. Could you imagine this being real? Like, like on Mars? Like trying to. Okay, so it's on, it's running. So now we're supposed to go and take um, this guy, put it in there, put it over here, and then we flick it on. So it tells us we are that far from there, okay? All right, so that's that. So next step is we're gonna need our drill. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and take four. Yeah. I'll swap our belt for our mining belt. Just open our belt like that. That'll be fine. Like so. That'll work. And now we're going to go ahead and get this guy out. And we're going to go find some resources. Hopefully some iron. That's copper. Let's go ahead and Okay. You're just a rock. Uh, we need copper, iron, and gold from what my uh understanding is. That was just a nugget. I guess if we stay on the higher parts, we can find our way back to that beacon. OK. 
Okay, what are you? Oxite. Okay, I don't know what you are. I don't know if we need you. I don't think we do. I know we need iron. I'm hoping you can make rovers that drill and stuff. I mean, it's the kind of experience I've really gotten to like with space engineers. I would really like to find more games with that aspect of the survival. So, um, yeah, if it does have rover building like to that extent, I'm truly looking forward to that. Okay, well, I don't see any more iron there. A little bit more this way. What are you, more copper? Okay. Oh, world save done. Um, iron. The voxel deformation is pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if I've played any games that use this kind of voxel deformation, so I'm kind of intrigued by... It looks like it's very easy to make level surfaces, which that I really am a fan of, because I really hate deforming the terrain and space engineers unevenly. All right, so I know the other compound we're gonna need pretty soon is gonna be gold. Looks like we got a lot of ores right here at, at our disposal, which is good. I don't feel like we're uh, struggling yet. But it's early. <laughs> I'll mess it up somehow, right? Uh, uh, more iron. I know it goes deeper. I'm just trying to get some quick stuff. It's coal. We won't need that if I keep up on my solar game. I think that's gold there. Let's give that a go. The other thing I'm wondering is, is there hostile life forms? Do I need to protect myself? Because, uh, again, I'm really new to this, so. Uh, do plan on playing this uh, until uh, based upon your guys' reactions, I mean, be sure to, if you're enjoying the series or you're looking forward to seeing a playthrough on this, uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and comment that you're interested in seeing it. Um, I'm intrigued to play it, so yeah, and then we'll take the series until uh, new content comes out for it and basically forces us to reset. So that will kind of be the timeline with it, is we're going to be up and down based on the the uh, the development of the game, so. I swear I saw a blip that said gold. No? Just a surface nugget? Yeah, all right, let's get back and get this processed while we have power. And then we gotta get the lathe going as well. Uh, I know that's the thing that actually crafts our stuff for us. This is the guy who 
We use this to make our ingots, and we take the ingots, put it in the lathe to get to get the stuff. So turn it on, throw it in there, smash it. Okay. Now turn our drill off. Let's put this back into our tool bag or our mining bag, and then go ahead and let that cook through. And we're going to go find our it's our mini lathe, auto lathe. I was informed it's the most important thing in the game. All right, so that's a sensor. Power controller, auto lathe. There it is. Okay. And place. Let's rotate that. There we go. Feeling like I don't want it facing that way. Feeling like I'm liking this better. There we go. All right, so we need, we need two iron sheets. Um, can we get our iron sheets back out of this? Crowbar for deconstruction. Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, iron sheets. Okay, perfect. I was worried there for a minute. All right, so we need a welding torch. And earn two sheets. Okay. Now we need four cables. Welding torch and something else. I think glass. I think we need two plastic sheets, don't we? From the tutorial. Yeah, two plastic sheets in our right hand. Um, where do we get plastic sheets? Is that from silicon? Uh, plastic sheets are white. Oh, there they go. We got some up there. Whew. This guy was worried for a second. All right, so this goes here because we just uh, put our drill up there, or a torch. There we go. Screwdriver. There we go. So power goes there, data goes there. Uh, I think we just run cable straight over there. Through this here, through this here. Put this like so. Like so. Come on, buddy. There we go. I think that will work. Oh, no, nope, it's not what I wanted. That's fine. I can just stay there for now. All right, so now we should be able to go and turn that off. Oh, it already spit out the ingots. Okay. Okay, and then we go to here. Definitely want to increase the size of this. Put the iron into here. And then where's our battery at? 59%? I think we're going to switch. Yeah, we're going to switch. <laughs> Just for a minute. So we turn this guy on and then we look at... I didn't want to make a coffee mug. No, stop. It's not what I wanted to make. Crikey. Iron sheets. Thank you. 
Make him. I think you can stop now. I think. Uh, I don't know how many I need. All right, so we're going to stop there. And uh, yeah, okay, make sure everything's off. Everything's off. Okay, cool. So on our next episode, we're going to try to get uh, more done. Try to get a little bit more established, get the room sealed up, and well, that's our top of our helmet. And we're just kind of take it from there. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Again, if you're uh, liking the content, be sure to hit the thumbs up to let me know that you guys want me to see, want to see me keep going with this. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.